looking for education. We're constantly growing together. Me and my guys, we are hungry for education. We go and to workshops together. We bring peop in, people in, like educators and, you know. Yeah, because of COVID, we haven't done in a while to bring other educators, mm -hmm. right? But it's part of our culture to bring educators. And then whenever there is a seminar or workshop, we go together And we Tico also offer this one-on-one training. So a new barber, when they join the team, they receive a lot of training. And then after that, throughout his usually first six months, Tico will be observing what skills they need to develop. And then Tico would say, hey, listen, let's do this. Um, let's say he can't cut uh, a certain type of hair, yeah. right? And I go there after hours on whenever they can on, on the hour day off, we go to the shop. And we cut a mannequin head, we bring a model, and we keep, keep it, uh, training them, you know, extract the best out of, out of this barber. Yes, you know? help them to find the best inside of them. It's there. They just need some guidance, right? Some techniques that will help them achieve that. So, um, I what was the, the thing again? Which one? Oh, for training, right? Yeah, for training, we're talking yeah. about training. Yes. So... Ask the owner if he offers training, continuing education. And then, you know, do you guys go to uh, barber workshops? Do you guys go to barber seminars? Barber seminars. This tells a lot about the growth mindset of the barber, the barbershop owner and the, the team that works there. It's important to ask. I think we lead, as a barbershop owner, we lead by example. Of the results you are having is because you are out there exposing yourself, learning, being involved with the community, learning new things, new techniques, and then you bring that in to whoever your team is, and and you can also spread the knowledge within your shop. It's a win-win. I think a, win -win. a good question to ask that it's not there in your in your list is. You know, what was the last uh, barber workshop you guys went? Or either the owner, like, what was the bar the last barber shop? Oh, the last barber workshop or the last barber battle? Whatever it might be have done. to see how involved the owner is with the industry. Because this will tell you a lot about the commitment that owner has with the industry and keep evolving. And there is a... There is a a barbershop owner that we know. And it's funny because when we go to seminars, workshops, we're very involved with the industry. He's always there with his barber. Usually he goes with one of his barber. I think you know who I'm talking about. And then they're always together, like the owner and this barber, they, they work together. He's always there, always there. Whenever we go to this hair gym, he's there with his barber that works with him. Orlando so, Premier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're always there. So this tells us a lot about how involved he is with the industry, right? And yes. his commitment to always be learning. And if you do know uh, that 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 culture of the barbershop, the barbershop owner are not willing to learn or grow in aspect of skills and leadership and go to workshops, seminars and stuff, what's going to end up happening to you? That culture, that environment will drag you to the same position and we're going to be um, not stuck. passionate about it anymore it's stuck not demotivated so that's what's gonna happen to yes. you I see that I've been seeing that and I know it I know what I'm talking about for sure find a, a shop that the owner is always evolving always looking for workshops and learning himself so you know for sure that he'll be investing in his team as well <laughs>